Welcome to Vantopia and another one of our kit tours. This is one of our factory installs in a Ram Promaster 3500. It's right in the front here, uh, like a lot of our other layouts. We have our kitchen island and uh, our nice large uh, fold-out tray table here. So even though that uh, this customer doesn't have a swivel seat on this one, it still is a really nice um, space for some extra countertop space, a good uh, food prep area, just a really uh, um, useful area to have always extra countertop space here. Um, and then a bit further in, we have a couple of her new modules. So we have one of our large overhead storage cabinets uses our same mounting system mounting to the same rail system as we use in the rest of our builds again all the paneling is using the existing mounting points of the the vehicle manufacturer so it makes it really easy to install with um, uh, no damage to the frame either the only cut you're going to make is just for the vent fan um, and then checking out one of our latest modules here too we also have our toilet closet pod here so it's on a, a lock system here, so you're able to pull it out. And it's both on these slides as well as the wheels too. So it is able to support your weight. You could sit on this. Um, the slides is really just for guidance. The real weight of, um, of the carriage is on the wheels at the bottom there. So it's really nice and secure. And it does lock out too, so it's not moving around while you're using it either. And locks out as well too. Um, some additional storage up above here too. So uh, it looks like they're using it for some of their kitchen appliances and kitchen gear, which is really convenient. And then of course you have another additional full height storage here too. Um, again, plenty of other space and storage up uh, up above here as well too. Don't want to go through all of their stuff, but it's a really nice um, area. You could pack a lot of storage for all your travels. Uh, coming in a little bit further into the van, we could uh, take a look a little bit more of a look at the kitchen galley here too, or kitchen island. Um, so we also have a nice large fridge at the bottom here. This is a Dometic fridge. Um, this is, a, I believe, a, the 65 liter module, but you could also fit the 50, uh, 50 liter Dometic fridge as well too. And then um, an additional kind of countertop space here too. And this is our dinette layout, our dinette bed system. And so you have uh, two nice large uh, swivel tables here. These are using lagoon mounts or other equivalents like that. So it's a really convenient space where you could uh, move the tables around uh, if you want to get uh, you know clear all the way through, if you want to be walking through here. Um, but then it's also a really nice uh, desk, desktop space or eating area. Uh, just a really you know functional space in the back here. Uh, the two tables are going to be able to drop down and make a nice big bed, bed system. So we'll show you that in just a second as well too. Uh, but real quick, I also want to point out that we have our uh, plugs at the bottom here too. So we have uh, one plug cluster here at the back, another one uh, towards the kitchen area. So you could run your appliances, like they have their electric kettle back here too. And then if you want, also want to take a quick look, this is also where we have our switch panel here. So this is where you're going to um, have, in this case, we have our heater control here. Um, and then we also have our switches for our lights, vent fans, water pump. Uh, fridge and heater as well too. So um, so now that you saw it in this uh, uh, sitting layout, let's go take a look at how that's going to look. Um, uh, one from the back of the van and then also in a, a bed setup. All right, so now that we're at the back of the van, uh, we could take a look at some of the other details here. So they added their own little curtain rod system. I actually like it a lot and they have a little privacy screen here too. Um, but And they also have one in the front as you can see as well. It uh, looks like a nice touch. Um, it doesn't come from the factory like this. This is something they added, but it's still pretty nice. Uh, similar like they did. They did their own cushions too, and they also added these pillows, but I think that's a nice touch too. Uh, also real quick in the back here, um, you'll see that we have our uh, water tank and a fill port here, as well as uh, an outdoor shower. So the shower is gonna be able to plug in, and then you could use it, um, use it as a nice shower in the back here too. It's a nice no drip system. It's a nice quick connect. So it makes it pretty easy to take on or off. Um, underneath here, it's just uh, additional storage. 
Uh, they have some of their own items in there, just some uh, extra camping gear, but quite a bit that you could fit there. Um, and then similar with underneath the, um, underneath the little uh, floor here too, they have, it looks like they have an extra grill in the back here too. So just trying to pack in as much storage as, as we can everywhere. I know that's a very common request on these types of vans that you always want more storage, more countertop space. And so we try to maximize that as best as possible. Well, I'll go ahead and show you how this uh, table system works and how we're able to drop that down to make it into a bed. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, drop these tables down. Um, if you're look, look at a lot of your van life videos, you'll probably notice these tape. Uh, you'll be familiar with these types of tables. These are Lagoon tables. There's a couple different brands out there for them. Uh, this model is using the Lagoon version. So we'll pop that up. I like to tighten it down a bit um, just so it's not moving around as much. And then set it aside for just a second here. And then I'll loosen this one up too. And then this is gonna slide into the this little channel here too. So we'll go ahead and slide that in and then tighten it down. That feels pretty tight. And then go ahead and place that one in here in the little channel right here. And that's gonna fit in. And then we're also gonna be using this little, we call it a little leaf off the table here. Usually have this tucked away in some storage and I'll go ahead and take that back table down and convert it to the bed. All right, so same thing in the back here. I'm gonna loosen it up, make sure I'm turning it the right direction to actually loosen it. And then pop that off. And we'll take that back. Back here, pop that in. So that's looking pretty good. Set this to the side for just a second. I'll put this little leaf in the channel here too. and this table as well. All right, so now we have our bed platform and these cushions are gonna be able to come together to make our bed. And then we have one extra little pillow we use just cause it sticks out just a little bit there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this little right in there and then now we have a nice nice large bed area um, it's about six feet wide and uh, close to six feet uh, long too um, you can check our you could ask us for the specific dimensions since I don't remember them offhand um, but we'll have more details about that but as you can tell it's a really nice big bed area I'm about six foot and so uh, it looks like I'm barely to the edge here and then I don't want to put my shoes on here but uh, you could sleep lengthwise or sorry widthwise as well too. All right So that just about wraps it up for this tour of our ProMaster build. Uh, stay tuned for other builds. We also have the uh, For the ProMaster we also have a raised bed system and then we also have our kits for the uh, Ford Transit as well of course for the Mercedes Sprinters uh, The kits are for all any high roof uh, Transit any high roof Sprinter and any high roof uh, ProMaster we have builds for those i uh, likely to be coming out with some Econoline builds as well soon too. And uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. We're easy to get in touch. We'll have a, a link to an email as well as a phone number if you have any questions. But thanks for checking it out. Take care.